Now we're in the color window space. Look at, we use EXR, so we have so much data that we can control. So literally, I, my midtones, look at that. I can bring my midtones down. I can bring them up. I got a lot of control here, right? And let me reset all of those again. Reset that, reset that. What I will do is bring my highlights down just a tad bit. Let me bring those highlights out. The sky is completely blown out, right? But Shao Nine, that's the way it was. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to go back to my log, to back to my primary wheels. And maybe just bring down the blacks a little bit. Bring, I'm just bringing down everything just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. And it was a super cloudy day. So we might, we're going to be, I might just, I could add some warmth to it like that, but it wasn't. So uh, let's go ahead and just, actually, I'm going to go ahead and leave that where it was. Let me go undo. Where was that? Back to zero. Yeah, I think the white balance looks fine here. Everything looks good. So now I'm going to go stylize. I'm going to go stylize now. So what I like to do, this is what I do. I use the Dehancer plugin. Um, which is a, a paid a pay for a plugin that gives it the film look, the old school film look. If you guys are interested in that, I have a link down below. You can save a couple bucks on that. Take a look at that. So I'm going to drag that onto here. And now I can select my film stock. Right now it's set up to Kodak V3 uh, 250D. Uh, I, I have my little favorite one right now that I'm using, Minolta uh, VX400 Super. And what I'm going to also do is fully, is like basically overexposed or underexposed it pushes it like it would back in the old days if I was using film. So I'm going to actually push it. I'll actually, just trying to see what I like color-wise. I think I might leave this stock. And let me scroll down to, <clears throat> down to here to color density in the print. I'm going to crank the color density up. Uh, let's see, tonal. It is pretty contrasty, so I'm going to leave that stock. Right. And then what I think, if anything, my gain, let's gain these together. And I do. Let's see what if we need a little bit of that greenish tone in there. Might be even maybe back to the. Yeah, I like the greenish tone a little bit. I'm going to lean that way a little bit. To me, these whites are looking super white and bleachy target white. We don't have control of And then this one here. Let me scroll up to white points here and let's see what we can do here yeah that's whitening them up i don't want to i'm going to bring them down a little bit because i guess it was a cloudy moody day and i think the whites are just popping a little too much for me okay and then scrolling down the film grain i'm going to go resolution 100 percent, and the amount i bring this down to like 10 and i do everything half uh in the mid in the shadows i go to 25 in the midtones, i go to 50 and I go to 25 in the highlights. All right. And then what I do is add some halation. Okay. And let's see how much halation we're getting. This is halation, which happens when you use uh, film back in the day between high contrasting areas. I like where that's at. And then I'm going to add in wherever there was halation, there will be also a uh, bloom. So I'm going to go ahead and add the bloom in right there. And again, you can see what I'm blooming out right there. I'm actually going to bring the impact on bloom down just a little bit. Not so much. I don't want it too bloomy and like dreamy like. Okay. And that's looking good. I'm liking where that's at. If anything, to me, the whites still look a little bit hot. So what I might do is jump back into my primary wheels and click over to my log wheels and go to highlights and just kind of even drag that down just a tad bit. It is what it is because they were a little bit clipped out. Okay. And then let's jump back to my primaries and contrast. Just Give it a little bit of bump of contrast. All right, and there it is. That's basically where I would go with this. Uh, I won't get good playback right now with it because I'm screen recording, but that's where it's at. To me, look, it might be looking a little too blue, huh? A little too cool. So I want to creep in a little bit of warmth, just a little bit of warmth. I'm going to creep in. So I, I see. It. I'm going to go hard first, and then I'm going to back. Well, I'm going to back it off. Back it off. Like comes in right there. Boom. All right. So boom. There it is. Let's go control F full screen. There it is. The full composite. Everything done. So what I'm going to do in this next video, <clears throat> if you guys want to see how to make this portion here, we're going to go ahead and do that. So 
take a look at this next video and we'll show you how I, um, how I made the bag and exported the Olympic file out.